One of Scarlet and Violet's oldest mysteries still hasn't been solved. If you go to read the Scarlet or Violet book depending on which game you're playing, you can open a page titled Pokemon of Area Zero and you'll be greeted with all of these sketches. Obviously these are all Pokemon found in Area Zero, there's Pormot, Flamigo and Knacklestack, but there's also a strange sketch of what appears to be a gorilla Pokemon. I've heard some people say they think it's slacking, but it, it's, it's got the wrong body type, it's missing tufts of fur around the hands and the feet. And also slacking isn't found in Area Zero, so that's, you know, completely off the table. The most likely explanation is that this is a brand new Pokemon yet to be introduced. And if you need more convincing, just check this out. This is a tweet from Ridlaku, who is known for leaking information about Pokemon games. He's known to be accurate a lot of the time. The tweet reads 7 plus 8 plus 1. The general consensus is this was meant to leak how many new Pokemon will be added in the DLC. Seven Pokemon were introduced in the Teal Mask, eight in the Indigo Disc, including Petrorunt, but the only thing missing is plus 1, implying that there's one more Pokemon left to be revealed in this game. Game, likely a mythical Pokemon. It's also worth pointing out that Paldea is the only region that doesn't have a mythical Pokemon, because obviously Petrarun is from Kitakami, not Paldea. Ridlaku also went on record to say that the one is a very purposeful Pokemon, which further solidifies that this could have important ties to Area Zero. I've seen some people speculate that perhaps this gorilla mythical Pokemon could have two forms depending on which item you give it. You know, connecting it to Area Zero, so if you give it the item from Scarlet, it becomes a, a past paradox version of itself. If you give it the item from Violet, it becomes a future paradox version of itself. We know that the Mythical will probably be released with a Pokemon Horizons tie-in movie, like, you know, the rest of the Mythical Pokemon, so I imagine it won't be like Petrarun, and it'll be, you know, a limited time distribution, like pretty much every other Mythical has been so far. If you click on the playlist on the screen, you can go see a bunch of videos of me talking about what Generation 10 could look like. Uh, okay, bye.